From Nashville hot chicken to New York's legendary cronut, here are our favorite dishes from every state. If you're in Alabama, it's worth trying these decadent orange rolls. They're the biggest draw to the restaurant All Steak in Coleman. Each roll is topped with a deliciously sweet orange glaze. Despite the fish you'll find in Alaska, we recommend trying the state's iconic reindeer hot dog instead. The sausage is made with reindeer or caribou, pork, and beef, and it's not something you'll find many other places. Sopapillas are the perfect savory or sweet treat. The hollow pockets of dough are a cross between Latin American fried pastry and Navajo fried bread. When served sweet, sopapillas can be filled with honey or topped with powdered sugar. We'd be remiss not to tell you to try the cheese dip in Arkansas. It's similar to queso, but don't tell Texas we told you that. The two states have long debated which created the favorite dip and what it should be called. With so many great places in California, it's hard to pick just one. But we love fugetsu dough in LA. It makes delicious rainbow dango, which are these bite-sized pieces of tender, colorful mochi. What might surprise you is our pick from Colorado. At this Kanoko gas station, we recommend getting blue corn tortillas with cactus and sauteed onions, or the traditional huarache, a Mexican-style flatbread. If you're near Neil's Donuts, the star of the show is the giant cinnamon roll. But there's also over 40 donuts to choose from, if something small is more your thing. Thrasher's French Fries has been serving hungry beachgoers since 1929. The boardwalk stand originated in Ocean City, Maryland, but has since won over Delaware customers with its large buckets of fries doused in vinegar. Old Greg's Pizza in Miami started as a quarantine pizza operation for the owner's friends and family. Today, it feeds hundreds of customers a week, many who order the popular roni pie weeks in advance. Crispy, tender fried chicken is one of the most satisfying dishes we tried in Georgia. We visited several places, but our pick is JCT Kitchen and Bar. Our pick for Hawaii is an island staple. The Kahlua pork sandwich is satisfyingly juicy with a smoky flavor, which is the result of roasting a whole pig slowly all day. Kahlua is a traditional Hawaiian cooking method that uses this pit-like underground oven called an emu. When in Idaho, you eat potatoes, but we recommend going for their sweet counterpart, the ice cream potato. Yep, it's made entirely out of ice cream, cocoa powder, and whipped cream. You can get one at the Westside Drive-In in Boise. Have you ever seen a whole slice of cake mixed into a milkshake? Not many people have, which makes it the best kept secret at Portillo's. The restaurant takes an entire slice of decadent cake and mixes it in just a little bit of ice cream and chocolate syrup. And there you have it, the cake shake. St. Elmo Steakhouse in Indianapolis is known for packing serious spice in its famous shrimp cocktail. The restaurant loads its famous cocktail sauce onto four black tiger shrimp. This next one's reminiscent of Illinois in that it also takes a slice of dessert and turns it into a milkshake. At Hamburg Inn number two, they mix a slice of pie with soft serve. When in Kansas, Joe's Kansas City Barbecue won't disappoint. The Z-Man sandwich comes with thinly sliced brisket, smoked provolone, onion rings, and barbecue sauce. You also won't go wrong if you order a rack of ribs. They're smoky, tender, and delicious. In Louisville, Kentucky, there's the one-of-a-kind hot brown sandwich. It was created in the 1920s at the Brown Hotel and has since become a local legend. It's an open sandwich topped with turkey, tomato, Mornay sauce, and bacon. Cafe Du Monde should be your first stop when visiting New Orleans. You can only get one thing, and that's the shop's iconic fried pastry called a beignet. These pillowy pockets of fried dough are dusted in powdered sugar and always served hot. In 2019, Maine Fishers caught more than 100 million pounds of lobster, hence why it's become the star of a few popular dishes. From the lobster roll to boiled lobster and butter, there's even a shop that makes lobster tacos with a cheese shell. It's all about crabs in Maryland, and there's a number of ways to enjoy them. Be it soft shell crabs or crab cakes, this is where crab dishes truly shine. We chose this next one not only because the pork ramen is delicious, but also because it encourages customers to achieve their dreams. The idea is that if you can finish these huge bowls of ramen at Yume Wo Katare, you have the power to make your dreams come true. A hot dog in Detroit typically looks like this. 
a steamed bun, an all beef sausage with an all meat beanless chili on top, and diced white onions. And of course, yellow mustard. It's called the Coney Dog, and it's a century old staple in the city. In Minnesota, instead of placing cheese on top of your burger, they put it inside your patty. It's dubbed the Juicy Lucy, and it oozes melted cheese. Matt's Bar in Minneapolis is one of two famous places that say they created it. Down south in Mississippi, catfish is the go-to for some fried goodness. Head to Taylor Grocery, which was voted the best catfish restaurant in Mississippi in 2020. It's gooey, it's buttery. What's not to like about gooey butter cake? It's a St. Louis staple, and it's unlike other traditional cakes. It's a flat cake covered in a goo mixture. Huckleberries are grown in the Northwestern United States and particularly thrive in Montana. They're similar to blueberries in that they're both tart and sweet, which makes them perfect for turning into pie. For Nebraskans, it's all about the Runza. And one of the most popular places to get one is the iconic fast food chain called Runza. This bread pocket is made with ground beef, onions, and cabbage and baked. We recommend going for the cheese Runza. It's a bestseller. You really can't go wrong with donuts, and Pink Box has over 50 to choose from. The Be Well Donut is limited edition. It's a yellow donut with a mask because, you know, 2020. There's no place like New England in the fall, where apple picking is abundant and apple pickers nom on these donuts all through the season. More donuts, we know, but you're really missing out if you're not trying an apple cider donut in New Hampshire. When in New Jersey, you've got to try a pork roll egg and cheese. At Slater's Deli, you can get a classic sandwich with three slices of pork roll. Or if you really like your processed meat, take a jab at this monstrous option with six slices. With its own green chili cheeseburger trail, it's no secret New Mexico prides itself on this popular burger. Whole or chopped green chilies give this meal its signature flavor and extra kick. Earlier this year, we told you the Krona is still New York's most legendary dessert. Why? Well, aside from people around the world waiting in line to try it even years after its debut, the treat takes three whole days to make. It's a labor of love, rolled in sugar and glazed with ganache. You won't go wrong with barbecue in North Carolina, but heads up because there are two kinds depending where you go. If you're ordering Eastern style, you'll get meat from the whole hog, as they say. But if you find yourself at a Lexington style restaurant, you can expect some form of pork shoulder. Recipes for nephla soup may vary slightly, but everyone always has potatoes. It's what makes this rich and creamy soup so hearty. When in Cincinnati, we recommend giving Camp Washington chili a go. If you order the five-way chili, expect to get a very full plate of spaghetti, red beans, chili, of course, diced white onions, and shredded cheddar cheese. If you're in Oklahoma, then make sure you stop at Sonic. It's headquartered in Oklahoma City and known for its retro-themed in-car dining. Try finishing the foot-long hot dog. We recommend ordering a slushy to wash it down. For a choice of more than 40 flavors, head to Voodoo Donut in Portland. The shop's signature treat is its Voodoo Doll Donut, a yeast donut filled with raspberry jam. Philly is known for cheesesteaks, but have you tried the roast pork sandwich from Da Nix? It comes with crumbled provolone, thin sliced roast pork, and broccoli rabe, all squeezed between a long, plush roll. At Aki's Doughboy and Chowder House, you've got to try the Doughboy, because fried dough is truly never a bad option. And this one comes with powdered sugar or sugar and cinnamon on top. You can find shrimp and grits at restaurants along the coast of South Carolina. With some spices and bacon mixed in, you have an incredibly flavorful, hearty dish to enjoy. Chislik is something you'll really only find in South Dakota. Typically, this meal consists of small cubes of meat on a wooden skewer, usually deep fried and salted. If you can handle the heat, then you've got to try hot chicken in Nashville. We love Party Fowl's take on the dish, but head to Prince's Hot Chicken Shack if you want to experience the place that started it all. Although we've praised other states' barbecue, Texas barbecue should by no means be left off this list. Our pick is Louie Miller in Austin, the brisket is tender and juicy, and the bark is just right. If you like your burgers extra meaty, then you won't go wrong with the signature burger from Utah fast food chain, Crown Burgers. The Crown Burger comes with a quarter pound patty topped with hot, juicy pastrami. We love Ben & Jerry's, but really, who doesn't? The iconic ice cream brand is headquartered in Burlington, Vermont, 
It makes over 60 flavors, including chocolate therapy, which is a pint of chocolate ice cream with chocolate cookies and chocolate pudding. Virginia is home to eight regions that harvest their own oysters. It's no wonder the state considers itself the oyster capital of the East Coast. The oysters range in flavor, some with a salty taste on the tongue, others with a delicate sweetness. Pike Place Fish Market in Seattle is known for fresh fish. The shop is famous for tossing customers' fish orders over heaps of ice in the front to be weighed at the scales in the back. Walk into a convenience store in West Virginia and you'll likely find pepperoni rolls. They're said to be created in Fairmont back in 1927. Imagine doughy bread filled with spicy pepperoni and cheese. If you're looking to indulge in Wisconsin, we steer you to Sally's Grill. It serves a Wisconsin favorite known as the Butter Burger. It's like a regular burger, but with a heaping chunk of melted butter on top. Cowboy cookies are a popular treat in Wyoming, but if you can't make it there, it doesn't mean you can't try them yourself. Make a batch at home like we did. You'll need chocolate, pecans, coconut, oats, and cinnamon. While they aren't states, here are our favorite dishes from Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Consider it a Washington, D.C. landmark. Ben's Chili Bowl is worth visiting for the food and the history. The restaurant is a local icon stationed on the famous U Street. Make sure you order its popular half smoke. It's a half pork, half beef sausage smothered in homemade chili. Plantains are widely grown in Puerto Rico, which makes them a staple of Puerto Rican cuisine. We like them in the form of tostones, fried and crispy topped with garlic. They're often served on their own or even as the bread of a sandwich. What foods do you think we should cover next? Let us know in the comments.